Hey everybody, Johnny here. In this video, I'm going to show you an easy way to make procedural pipes using geometry nodes. Now these pipes are a very simple case, and you could do something a lot more complicated than this. But I wanted to show you a quick method that you could get into really easily. First I want to show you this object that I modeled. It's simply a cylinder that I punched out the middle of, and then added hexagonal bolt heads to either side of it. This will act as the connecting flange between our pipe pieces. Next we need an object to define our pipe. I'm going to use a bezier curve to do that. I'm going to scale it on the y-axis to zero so that it's a straight line. Next I'm going to need an object to put my geometry nodes on, so I'll just add a simple cube. I'll add my geometry nodes, cut the connection, and drag in my bezier curve. Connecting this up to my output, I'm going to add a curve to mesh node. And then I'm going to add a curve primitive circle node. And use that as my profile curve. I'll reduce the radius. That's good for the moment. The next thing we want to do is place this flange at either end of our pipe. To do that, I'm going to use a curve endpoints node. I'll use the geometry of our Bezier curve as the input. Then I want to instance this flange at both the start and the endpoints. So I'm going to combine the start and endpoints with a join geometry node. I'll use the join geometry to drive a point instance. And select my flange. Finally, I want to connect my pipe with my flange. I'll do this by duplicating this join geometry node and connect the output of the curve to mesh and the point instance. As we can see, the pipe is too small for the flange, so I'll simply increase the radius of the curved circle until it's the right size. So now we have a pipe segment, but how do we make this more interesting? Because the curve endpoints node recognizes each spline within a curve, we can go ahead and edit our Bezier curve. I'm going to grab this endpoint and shrink it down. Then I'll duplicate it, and we can see that this has created another flange. I'm going to move it out so it butts up against the end of this flange hiding the bolts in the middle. Next, I'll extrude this point. Now that there's a second end, another flange is added, and a pipe is created in the middle. Of course I can do more than just straight pipes with this. If from here I were to extrude again, upwards, I can create more pipe segments. In cases like this corner, if you're finding that you're not liking the shape it's making, you can add a curve resample node and change the resolution. This may help you get more of a shape that you're looking for. So here's an example of how this could end up looking. As a last bit, I'll add a PBR texture to this object. And there it is. While it's not perfect, and it could use a lot of improvement, for something quick that you'd only be seeing in the background of a scene, this could work out really quickly. Anyhow, I hope this gives you some ideas, and I hope you can build upon this to make something awesome. Thanks for watching the video. If you're enjoying the channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button. I really appreciate you taking time to hang out with me. So until next time, I'll catch you later.